welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my username is Pagan Beauty, and on this channel I do subscription unboxings and reviews. Uh, so today I'm going over Ipsy, and it's the base box, which is a $12 a month subscription. They generally promise about $50 worth of product. So they come with a bag, and every year or every month it's a different bag. And this is the style this month. And it's got just the navy back. It's kind of a leathery feel. And it's got a little peach tassel. The inside of it is also peach with a little Ipsy tag. I wonder if I lower down my light a little bit. Maybe you can actually see it a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, I always love the Ipsy bags. Um, I don't use every single one of them, but I always have somebody that wants to have one. I've actually got a friend in mind for this because these colors look so great on her. I think they'll work really well. So uh, the first product that we got this month is by Ico. It is the Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara, and it's in Carbon Black, which if you watch any videos that are uh, over subscription unboxings, you will know that <coughs> excuse me, uh, black mascaras and black eyeliners are the most, um, <sighs> my cat is begging for attention, but you're most likely to get at least one of these a month. If you get multiple boxes, you're probably going to get one every single box, whether it's a mascara or an eyeliner or both. And almost always they're black. Every once in a while I've gotten like maybe three other colors, whether it's charcoal gray or got one that's green and I got one that's a really pretty lavender color. So uh, they do send out other ones. I don't complain whenever they send me a black eyeliner or a black uh, mascara because I use them. And I'm all for getting products that I'm actually going to go through because I go through them fast if I use them every single day. So for this product here, it is uh, Korean technology, which I love any kind of Korean skincare or makeup. Uh, they tend to have a really, really good, um, what do you call it, uh, quality. And the, the ingredients they use tend to be really, really good for your skin. So I always love anything that's Korean technology. Um, says that it has lengthening and volumizing, won't smudge or smear, and a curl equal to a lash curler. Now, it also says that it's got conditioning in it because it's got keratin and shea butter. Like I said, Korean technology and they're good for you products. Um, and also the squeeze tube itself is made to be able to roll up. So if you start to run out of your, um, your product, you don't have to sit there and pump it, which you should not do anyway. If you have mascara and you're running out or it's starting to get dry, don't pump your mascara. Uh, move it around on the inside and try to scrape off the stuff on the side because if you push air in there it's just going to make it dry out faster. Now I actually really liked this mascara. I did find that it built up a lot of um, length on my eyelashes. I wouldn't say that it curls on the level of a uh, eyelash curler but it did add quite a bit of length and a lot of volume. The brush is super strange. They call it a guitar shaped brush. As you can see which honestly, I, I didn't mind. Um, it's really easy to use this part to get the ins outsides and the insides of your eye. Um, I would not put it over other mascara that you have on because it does have some clumping. I did see somewhere that it said that it had fibers, that it built it up with fibers, and that's going to cause a lot of clumping. Um, fibers, fiber mascara only works if you get a smooth um, swish like the first time. You, you can't go more than two or three times with a fiber mascara or it's going to start clumping up in areas where the fibers are sticking together. A really good tip on if your mascara is clumped together, take a clean, um, a, cre a clean brush wand and run it under really hot water and then let it cool for a second. Don't stick a hot uh, a mascara wand to your eye, but just kind of run it through your eyelashes really, really easily. And um, I've also used tweezers to just kind of separate them out before. I can't do fake uh, eyelashes. I'm not there yet, still learning. Uh, so building up my eyelashes is really, really big for me because I have very minimal eyelashes. And I was really, really happy with this. Now, let's see, for some reason, whenever I looked it up on the decoder site, which for those of you that are not uh, familiar, I use INCI decoder in order to look up any of the ingredients 
Um, it tells you the really good ones and what they do, and it points out icky ones. And so uh, it's rare to find super icky uh, products unless it's like a fragrance or something. A lot of skincare will put fragrance in your, in your skincare, and it's generally not good for you if you have dry or uh, sensitive skin. So it'll mark those out. Um, it said that it was fragrance and essential oil free, which is awesome because I have dry skin and I have a lot of friends that have um, sensitive skin. And so I don't want something that's going to make my eyes get all tingly because I put on some uh, mascara. The company, uh, like I said, uh, created the squeeze tube. You roll it up in order to get more of the material out and they specialize in eye makeup. So they don't really go to any, any other things. And I like that because that means that they focus on the formulas of what they're working with instead of being really broad and having a more average pr product. So very happy with this. The full size comes in at eight milliliters and this one's two. So $24 for the full size at eight uh, would bring this to about $6, which is not bad for a $12 beauty box. The next product we've got is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I'm um, all for a face moisturizer because I have dry skin and I did not care for it whenever I was in my 20s. I didn't wear skin or sunscreen like I should have and I didn't even know I was supposed to put on a moisturizer at all. I, I didn't know what serums were. Whenever I heard about that stuff, I was like, oh, old lady stuff. Um, and now I'm an old lady. So. No, no harm in that. I'm perfectly fine being my age. I know a lot of people who didn't make it. So I prefer to be my age and have to be worried about serums than not. So very excited about getting a uh, moisturizer. The, re the reviews on this were really good. It says ultra repair face moisturizer. Um, and it, that it apparently has the same kind of formula as the ultra repair cream. Uh, which is a, a big fan favorite. And, um, but it's supposed to be more lightweight. Now it's got collodial, collodial oatmeal in it, which uh, soothes any dryness, as well as shea butters and avocado oil, which are all good soothers. Um, and so for me, if I put something that has alcohol or something like that on my skin, I'll get some bright red patches and my skin will tingle. And if I don't take care of it, it'll start to get dry. And whenever I put on my foundation, you'll be able to see that area that of dry patchy skin that has a different texture than the rest of my skin. And so I have to be really, really careful about not only what I put on my skin, but also taking care of my skin so that just natural dry spots don't pop up. So um, it ha also has antioxidants, which fight uh, free radicals, pollution. Um, I wouldn't say that it works as a sunblock, but say just the regular air pollutions or if you uh, walking through traffic, the stuff that's coming out of people's cars, or walking down the sidewalk, um, or if you're in a place, like I, per I previously worked at a casino, I can guarantee you that walking through the casino was not good for my skin. So any kind of antioxidants will help pr just protect you from any future uh, issues. So it's n it never hurts to have a little bit of that. Um, it also has a brightening agent. Uh, licorice root extract, which I've heard of multiple f times before, and it's it's it can be um, complicating. Brightening can, for some people, have a negative effect on their skin. It'll make their skin look different than other parts of their skin, and some people have had issues with uh, tightening of their skin due to brightening ingredients. I have not tried this out myself because I already have a moisturizer open. And I don't like to waste product. These things all have a shelf life as soon as you open the bottle. So I won't open it until I run out of my current moisturizer. But I look forward to trying it because it is such a good brand. Let's see, on um, the INCI decoder, said it was alcohol and fragrance and essential oil free. It has antioxidants, like I said. Um, we talked about the soothing ingredients and the brightening ingredients. Uh, it's overall a very, very good product. It, for full size at 1.7 ounces, it comes in at $26, which is really not bad for a good face moisturizer. And uh, this one that we got is 0.34 ounces, which to be perfectly honest, no, no kitty. To be perfectly honest is really worth less than a dollar. So, I mean, they could have given us a little bit bigger of a sample. It is only a $12 box, so I'm not complaining and skincare can be expensive. 
but like I said, the full size of this is only $26. So I do hope I like it because if it is one of those things that I can afford, I don't mind spending $26 on a, um, a, a bottle of face moisturizer that I'll use for a good long while. All right, next thing we have is a brush. Now, I used to be so excited about getting brushes. This is the brush we got today. Don't get me wrong. It's not one that I have. Kitty cat. No. No kitty cat. My cat is very ADD, and he needs to have my attention at all times, even whenever I'm wearing black pants. Anyway, so I used to get super, super excited whenever I got brushes because brushes are expensive. And you need brushes in order to do your makeup right. It's extremely important. You won't be able to get the uh, fading and all of that that, uh, that you will with anything else other than a brush. So I, it's one of the reasons that I signed up for these boxes was to start collecting brushes. Now I've got a full set now. I did not have one of these. I've got a bigger version. Oh, goodness. Everybody say hi to Kirito. Say bye to Kirito. Go on, kitty. Go. Go. But, um, so I, it's not that I'm upset about getting this. Generally, if I get duplicates, I can also give them to my daughter. And I've got my mom and several other friends that are constantly looking for, um, if you knock that box off, kitty cat, get down, get down, get down, come on, get down. He listens to no one. But, uh, yeah, so if I get duplicates, I give them away and I'm fine with that. Um, this is a $20 brush and it's by Moda and I, uh, I love Moda because they, or I, Moda, M-O-T-D cosmetics. I don't know why I was calling it Moda, but, um, they make brushes for, uh, broke people. And so apparently the owner of this company, whenever she was starting out, uh, doing her makeup, she could not afford brushes. And so she started a company to sell quality brushes at, at reasonable prices. And I've got multiple brushes by hers and I've got them next to name brand brushes that cost three to four times as much. And I've never not grabbed for these brushes. And so I'm super excited about it. Now I have gotten many sets from them that were duplicates that I've given to my daughter and she, I mean, they're wonderful beginner brushes. So no complaints about getting a brush. Um, it's called the Perfect 10 Tapered Face Brush, and this one is used for um, buffing powder and uh, like foundation, your translucent powder, so on and so on. It also can be used for uh, contouring and highlighting, and I use creams for that, so I don't really, uh, this is not a brush that I would use um, for a cream. Uh, let's see, it says that it's a high quality and it has vegan bristles, which is awesome. I'm all for that. I did read somewhere that they had uh, specifically made a, um, the bristles to feel like animal fur without being animal, animal fur. Now, <coughs> there is a significant difference between natural haired brushes and synthetic brushes. Synthetic brushes will put on more color while natural hair brushes will fade out more. And I have used this one a couple of times and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I use it with translucent powder whenever I'm putting it on. So I think that that's great. It works perfectly. And as a $20 brush, I'm sorry, $22 brush, I am not complaining in any form or fashion. So go ahead and throw that back over there and we'll move on to something that I was pretty excited for because I love perfumes. And this is by Sarah Jessica Parker. And like, like I said, I love perfumes. Um, this one is, it's got floral notes and notes of musk. Oh goodness, kitty cat. No, I'm doing something. Go on. No, I will love on you in a little while. Um, it's a called lovely you and it is a 10 milliliter bottle. No, no listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I said, no, no. All right. It is a roller perfume, a roller bottle perfume, which I'm not complaining about at all. It does really well uh, as a to-go perfume. I will say that I have a hard time smelling it. And whenever I was looking through the reviews, there were other people that also had a hard time smelling it. And then there were people who just could not get over the smell. 
So it has, according to most reviews, um, the floral scent and the baby powder scent come th comes through the most. Now, the brand does not deny this. Whenever they talk about their scents, they um, said that the top fragrances, which are the ones that you're going to smell right away, are Wild Freesia, Plum Blossom, Water Lily, and then the middle ones are Orange Flower, Pink Peony, uh, Jasmine Petals, and then the base ones are Warm Musk, Vanilla Orchard, and Benzoin. Benzin, Benzoin. Um, now, the site itself says that the, se the scent is supposed to be a light powdery scent. And so they're not denying the fact that baby powder smell is, is probably implemented into the, the scent. Um, I don't mind that it's a lighter smell. I have gotten worse. I've gotten a hand lotion that is baby powder and patchouli smells. And I put it on one day while I was at work and immediately my coworker started complaining about the, the smell of old people. And uh, so there, it could always be worse. I would prefer to have a light smell than a really, really strong one that can turn away all of my coworkers. <laughs> so um, I've used it a couple of days. Like I said, I don't smell it very much and I haven't really had any comments from anybody else on the smell of it. Um, so can't really give a great review. I will say that there are lots of reviews of people who say that the scent is too strong. And so I know that it's a to each their own kind of situation. Come on, kitty cat. We can't do this right now. Go lay down. Go lay down. No. No. Go lay down. <sighs> Never listening. So, um, like I said, lots of reviews. Um, I couldn't find an ingredients list on any of the sites. Now, this was only recently uh, released. It's in 2020 for the fall of 2020. So, what's new? I can understand that. Um, it's an adaption of Lovely, which is her original scent. Uh, but it's just... It's a little odd that even at the Ulta site or the Kohl's site, I couldn't find an ingredients list for the perfume, which is not, it's not like it hasn't happened before, but it is just a little bit odd. Anyway, the 10 milliliter comes in at $20 and that is a full size, so I am not complaining at all. I wouldn't mind getting the actual full size because it's a gorgeous little pink uh, and rose gold bottle, but definitely fine with the travel size. The last thing that we're going to go over, I wanted to love this. I really did. It's by Tarte, and it's called the Shape Tape uh, Concealer. And I've heard so many good reviews about this. I have seen people post in whenever doing, I've, I've seen people that I actually watch whenever they're doing their makeup talk about using this and being so happy with it. Um, I got mine in 12 in, or 12 neutral, fair neutral. And, um, it, like I said, it's extremely popular. Tons and tons of reviews, tons of video reviews, so on and so on. Lots of people using it. Um, it says that it is 43% infused with tape technology. That's what the site said. Uh, to, in order to smooth and blend fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, nourishes del delicate under eye with mango seed and shea butters. And has licorice root. We talked about that earlier. Uh, for brightening. And then it also says that it's vegan, hypoallergenic, and dermatologist tested. And like I said, I wanted to love it. Absolutely wanted to love it. I've been using it for the last week. I have it on today. Uh, I will advise if you have dry skin. Not only do you need to put on a moisturizer before you use this. And I mean a good moisturizer. I, and uh, liberally and let it soak in. And then apply this. And then whenever you do apply it, apply very small amounts. You really don't need a lot, and it can build up. It can start looking cakey. Definitely, if you have mature skin, if um, if you have a lot of wrinkles or bags like I have, it'll crease, and you will see um, a little bit of caking, a little bit of separation. And so, just be very careful whenever you use it. If you don't have dry skin, if you've got normal to oily skin, this is the product for you. Uh, so many good reviews on it. Um, Let's see, whenever I checked it out on INCI Decoder, it's alcohol free, which is awesome. It actually has one, two, three, four, four different moisturizers in it. Glycerin, willow bark, shea butter, and sucrose. And so, I mean, it's, I'm not complaining about getting it. I definitely will use it. Just an advi or advice, just some advice, uh, put on a moisturizer if you have issues with dry skin. Uh, it did have an icky 
uh, ingredient, which is actually pretty rare whenever I'm looking up skincare, definitely for Tarte, but it has sodium uh, C14 through 16. And what that is, is that's a combination of ingredients that are for cleansing your skin. And they are actually really, really good cleansing ingredients. The only problem is, is that for people like me or people who have really sensitive skin, they can cause some pretty severe issues. Um, it can cause really, really bright um, patches on your skin. It can cause instantaneous dry spots. It can, it can cause long-term damage. And by that, I mean that if you use it too many times and your skin keeps getting red and keeps getting red, and then sooner or later, that redness is going to kind of stick and you're going to have red tint to your cheek that wasn't there before. And, uh, or you'll have that permanent dry patch and you don't want, you don't want to have to deal with that. So just be careful whenever you use the ingredients. Like I said, this is why I look up what everything has. So this is, uh, let's see, I wrote it down over here. At full size, it's 0.33 ounces and that's $27, which is not surprising. It's tart and the container is actually a pretty good size. Since this one is only, I think, two, or was it? Let's see. It's only 0.5 milliliters. $1.50, maybe. Being generous. Being generous. So that's our last product, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up by telling you how much I actually got in this bag. Generally, they promise about $50 in products. Every once in a while, they'll go over. And every once in a while, they're a little bit short. And I'm never upset either way. So this month, it comes up to about $50.50. So I'm all for that. I only paid $12 for the box or for the bag. And so no complaints there. I'm pretty happy with what I received. Most of it is stuff that I will um, use very soon. If not, I will give it to a friend and they will love it. Um, no complaints whatsoever. I never really do have complaints about Ipsy. So I'm really looking forward to getting my Ipsy Glam bag, which is the $25 step up from the regular, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting the Glam bag plus, which is a regular step up from, or a step up from the regular bag, which is the Ipsy Glam bag. And uh, $25 a month, it'll be coming in in just a couple of weeks. I am about to do two different boxy charms, one from October and one from uh, November because I forgot that I had a boxy charm box to do. So. I hope you look forward to getting those. Make sure you like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And make sure you comment below. Do you know something about these products that I don't know? Or do you have a question about them or a comment? Or <coughs> do you want to compare what you got in your bag versus what I got in my bag? Um, I'm all for doing that. I love responding to the comments. So uh, leave any thoughts below. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you guys. And I hope you have a great night.